hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel Archie Nomad. and this today's tutorial i will teach you how to create this kind of a ceiling a mesh ceiling and wrap it so as you can see here in 3d and uh, if if i just select this section box if i just let me show you so as you can see it has a proper the supporting bars and it's uh, the ceiling of uh, i mean the mesh kind of ceiling design so I'll show you here on the sheet I just put it here as you can see in the camera angle also it's transparent you can see on the uh, it's above the cut cut side of it and this example actually we are going to this sort of things you can also create so uh, let's get started so I'll just uh, select this one and I'll just delete this one okay so let me just go to its north elevation so here what I did is actually I created the level for uh, the ceiling I mean the ceiling we had the height of the ceiling where I just created randomly and the height is actually 3.39 meter and I rene renamed that in the mass ceiling so we can going we are going to fix that ceiling in the height of this the smash ceiling height okay so let's go back to 3d so we are going to create a roof and we are going to uh, change into the into the design of the mesh okay so let's get back into 3d so here as you can see and now I'm going to delete this one now I will just go to the roof and I'll just uh, select the footprint uh, this uh, level of mass ceiling I just created so I will select this one because height is uh, will be adjusted accordingly so now we are going to uh, create that in the mass ceiling level so I just select yes now I will just uh, go here maybe you can choose any 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 sort of levels or you can just work on 3d also I prefer work on 3d because I'm uh, used to it so for you I'll guys I'll just go to the any level we don't need to worry about it because it will automatically fix uh, fix in this uh, on the level of mass ceiling okay and here so we already set the base level actually so now I'm going to just uh, use this one the pick lines so I'll just select this one oops we're going to create here on this one this part is already created so then this one this one this one here and here and uh, this one is actually a glass so you can just select in the middle one it depends on your design so okay so now I'll just uh, use the trim command I'll just trim it so here here so yeah this one is uh, we created our roof here I'll just select okay so now let's get back to into 3d so as you can see it's already on the level of uh, this uh, this mesh ceiling we're going to create it so now in the meanwhile you just uh, keep that selected I mean you just select this one either and then go here and change it to this one so slope sloped glazing sorry yeah sloped glazing okay so now as you can see we just got kind of a, a glass on the roof so now what we're going to do is we are just going to apply some tricks here so I will just you just you just need to do hover your mouse over this one you see this 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 kind of uh, guideline is showing you okay it means that you are your mouse your I mean the cursor should be inside of it so it will appear don't go outside because it will select anything else okay so just go here and hit the tab so when you hit the tab the, it will showing it, it will be showing like you know current panel selected like that you know so just now I need to select this one and here just uh, use you just duplicate this one because you don't need to ma 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 mess with the original one so I'll just uh, rename is the mesh ceiling CEO okay Hit okay and offset we don't need to worry about it and the trick is we're going to now going to do so let me just uh, select this one we create it and now again we just go back and here in the material we're going to create a new material for that okay so we're just going to create a new material rename mash 
ceiling hit ok ok and uh, just make sure that you're uh, in the graphic panel your use render appearance should be checked so now we're going to the appearance and the color I'm going to use the yellow because I just want to make a good appearance for this tutorial because uh, for you guys so you can choose according whichever color you want maybe a gray or something like that according to you and for this tutorial I'm using yellow uh, so I'll just select OK and now I will just go here in the downside you see here this option is cut out what it means actually you see in this in this uh, 3d option you see this actually the mash holes basically what it does it will create the cut out uh, in this in this uh, the mash ceiling when you're going to use this image okay so basically we are going to use that texture in it so let's uh, select this one and it will uh, it will automatically open uh, this um, option I mean to select the texture because I already was using for some other texture some other project so I'm just going to give you the original location for uh, the Autodesk texture so let me just try maybe I forgot I don't know so let's just try it's it should be inside of C drive program 86 then we're going to use the common files then we are going to use here Autodesk shared and here you see this materials you you have saved so I'll just go back here and I will just select whichever uh, I you personally use this one this this location you can see so this is actual location for it okay so I'll just select the second one and if I go here to the mats here we are going to search for mash wire cut out okay so I'll just make a little bit larger so now I'll just uh, try to hit on keyboard I mean the M okay M. Um, we got the M so now mash okay let's search it might be nearby here it should look like this kind of thing so let's go mash it should be nearby you see that pattern you can also use this one kind of this kind of pattern you just need to adjust its uh, the, the height and whatever the scale actually you need to adjust it so I'll just select the mesh wire I think this one yes correct this one mesh wire cut out so remember this one it I mean for according to your project I'm using this one so select this one you see here this is showing now just uh, click once or double click over this you will select the scaling option so for the sample option we can actually set later because we don't know right now how much it's going to be big or something like that in the appearance basically so I'll just select OK and apply then OK so as you can see it's quite pretty big accordingly it's already changed but this one is totally uh, this one is actually the accurate one this one is quite big so we're going to take the sample of this one so I'll just select this one so let me just select no 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 the oh yeah this one so here I already created the material so this one we see here we go here you see the sample scaling is a uh, 0.15 meter okay so we just going to select the heater tab select this one now we are going to change to 0.15 this one for this one okay so double click 0.15 meter make sure this one change should be you know so it will uh, automatically add this second one should be in a square form done okay okay pretty good we got it so now we are going to create its uh, the supporting bars you can actually create by selecting this one and you can just adjust according to you basically it's uh, we're going to create through mullions so we are going to top view we just select this one here option you can see here create similar either you can just select uh, this one directly or you can just create first the grid line 
So sometime it shows automatically and uh, sometime it's not. So let me just go to grid line. I mean, sorry, the curtain line. Okay, so we're just going to give a curtain line. So, so for this project, I'm just maybe randomly. Okay, let's me, let me put here just so I want to demonstrate to you. So here, as you can see, and for this one, horizontal, let me just give me a couple of support like this. Uh, we got, okay, this is actually door, so okay, no problem. So now we're going to select this one and we're going to create this similar exactly. I'll just select the uh, all grid lines. You see, when you hover, it will appear a blue guidelines. Select, just select all over it and it's done. Now you can see we already created it support bars also and you can play around with a lot of things accordingly you can adjust or you want to change uh, some of it to the glass you can change to like if I select this one oops like uh, yeah uh, oops. Uh, this one if you want to change to the glass you can just go here and glaze you see you can you can play around with this a lot of infinite infinite possibilities in Rabbit actually you can do uh, according to you you know so just like that so yeah thank you so much for watching this is much for this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial with new ideas with new projects so stay tuned to my channel and subscribe to my channel and please like this video and if you found this video useful share with your friends and see you in the next time thank you